So, we're gonna to move to our new first guest, Miss Tori Dottery. Tori, hey, hey, thanks for being on. I'm glad to be here. Thank hey. you for having me. Man, we, we had a little <laughs> excitement here. We didn't did, we? but you know, that's, that's good. It Gotta is. Gotta have some excitement for a Tuesday night. <sighs> yeah, it kind of, you know, I thought this was going to be a, a, an easy show. I thought it was going to be, uh, you know, move from one thing to the next. And then Kevin, you know, goes out here and sets the world on fire with all this Christmas lights. You just can't get good help anymore, can you? Uh, no. I, I mean, you. at least, you know, the, the studio <laughs> didn't burn down. That's true. You know, at least with us in here, you know. No. But anyway. Keep uh, our fingers crossed. We'll, yeah, we'll keep our <laughs> fingers crossed. Tori. Thank you for joining me. And t you are the um, director of marketing Mar and public relations for Henry. We County went over Public that School. just a minute yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. And you're here to talk to us about the Paris and Henry County Healthcare Foundation. I am. Tell us a little bit about that organization okay. and what what is the what is that and and is it part of the hospital? Sure. So the Paris and Henry County Healthcare Foundation is basically the 501c3 fundraising arm for Henry County Medical Center. Um, we have a mission of healing uh, for Henry County in our region, and we're kind of that philanthropic arm for the hospital to provide um, the best quality health care for our community. So Yeah. And you, you guys are having a fundraiser. We are, we are. So uh, Henry, the Paris and Henry County Healthcare Foundation has done a casino night for several years. Mm -hmm. And then we kind of had to take a little hiatus yeah, for, of because of COVID. That, that bad C word. Yeah, I know, the bad C word. And so we're very excited to be able to have casino night in person this year. And we've made some changes and we're super excited about that. So it's going to be this year at the, the new lodge at Paris Landing. And this is going to be the first time that, obviously, that it's been at the, the new facility. Right. And y'all are expecting big things, right? Yes, we're very excited. Um, the event will start at 6 o'clock on Saturday at the lodge. Um, we'll have happy hour food, drinks um, during that time. And then we will open up to just some fun kind of casino-like atmosphere. So you're going to be in Vegas at Yay. the lodge. And so we're going to just start with some gaming about 7 o'clock. And then everyone will be able to enjoy the, the evening mm -hmm. and the events. And then be able to cash in for some great prizes that we're going to have oh. in the evening. So, so somebody's going to win some really great stuff. So you're going to you, you get to buy tickets and then and then you get to gamble. Is you that get, right? You get to play. Play. You get to play. So there's there is a distinction. There, there. is. It is. So, so it, no real money. It's just it's just fun, um, fun atmosphere. Mm -hmm. So your ticket just get you food and um, the ability to enjoy great company during the evening. So, Yay, that yeah. sounds fun. I, I, is, is, I feel like James Bond will be there somewhere, you know, around the table. We have some folks that said they're actually going to dress up kind of like James Bond. I've got a couple of board members that are planning on wearing yeah. some tuxes. So I can't wait to see that what will they be look good. like. So they may show up as James Bond. <laughs> are, they, are they any good at, at any of the casino games? I don't know. Are you any good at any of the casino? No, I'm not. Really? <laughs> I'm usually working, but it's it really is a lot of fun. Everybody hmm. just enjoys the atmosphere, and I think everybody's just ready to have a really good time. Yeah. And at least you're out having a good time for a great cause. Yeah, for sure. Look, look what I got. <gasps> a deck of cards. I got a deck of cards here. <laughs> um, oh, gosh. Yeah. So I, I thought that maybe... You know, this is a good way that this brand new deck. Look oh at that! Oh my gosh! No, no, I'm not going to do any card tricks other than play a little, little, little blackjack here. I think. Oh gosh! I don't even know if I know the rules to that. That's even better. <laughs> That's even you're better. You're going to win. So. Mm. so <laughs> now I heard you're pretty competitive. So I'm the extremely fact I don't competitive. Even know how to play is in your favor. Uh, that's exact. <laughs> I, you know, being competitive, I always kind of like, 
I can beat that person. So if that's who I want to play. <laughs> um, tell me, like, what what has the uh, the Healthcare Foundation spent money on? You know, that's that's something that people are curious about in terms of like the connection between the Healthcare Foundation and then the actual. Um, care that's given at the hospital. Absolutely. So the Healthcare Foundation was basically started in 1994. So we're coming up on an anniversary before too long um, for the foundation. Yeah. 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 I turn I yours no over. No idea. And, and I'm so, the dealer. So. <laughs> you're the dealer. So we have over the years just really tried to make sure that we add things um, be it services or equipment or education or, or different elements to just improve healthcare. So over the years, we've done things like the very first project they did was build um, the Plumley Rehab Gym at okay. the healthcare center. Um, we've also supplied equipment at the healthcare center that they would not have been able to have otherwise, and it's been a benefit to the patients that have been there. Um, we bought the newborn hearing screener that's on the OB unit uh, for babies so to ensure that their hearing um, so it's know, a, was in place. Um, the lake station was built. That's right, the lake station. Uh -huh, for EMS mm -hmm. out um, with funding from the Healthcare Foundation. Uh, we actually started the cardiac rehab program through wow. the Healthcare Foundation. I didn't realize that. I knew the, the lake station because that's a big deal out it there is. for them. It is. So, the that does not come from or or the the funds are i think that's part of the confusion mm -hmm. i think with a lot of people about where the funds are and how you know the foundation is um volunteer it's philanthropic. It is philanthropic. And so the funding comes from donations. Comes from donations. And fundraisers and activities um, that the community supports. Yeah. And, and true donations. So uh, donations can be made anytime uh, to the Healthcare Foundation. And, and folks can actually earmark it towards different programs or things that we are doing uh, within the community. That's very good because yeah. we we talk about our our hospital as being, at least I feel like, one of the crown jewels of the community. Yes. Having that medical facility here in Henry County, um, it, my parents are in their 70s, mm -hmm. and it's extremely important to me to know that there is a medical facility within just a few minutes that can take care of them. And, um, and not just any medical facility. The technology, the physicians, the mm -hmm. providers, you, you know, you would be hard pressed to find another community with just the outstanding services that we have exactly. here in Henry County. It's just, it's amazing. And we're very fortunate. And the, the community can go through this philanthropic arm of the hospital the fundraising side, and this is, if I'm not mistaken, I'm not an accountant, I'm an engineer, uh, so excuse me on, on, on some of the, the... I'm not an accountant either. Well, <laughs> is it, it it's uh, tax deductible donations. Correct, because we are a 501c3, mm -hmm. it, you can uh, utilize that towards tax deductions when you go to, to do your taxes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, it benefits you as, as a giver, but it also provides um, continued care in our community for things that we wouldn't be able to afford otherwise. Yeah, and that's a real way that, like, obviously, Mr. Harold Plumley and his wife, Opal, mm -hmm. were big contributors were for this. Yes. So getting this going, and uh, that that's a way that the citizens can can really contribute to the success of the hospital. as Because I think that's another thing that really confuses people about how the hospital operates and its funding. It, I'm, I don't want to go too deep into that <laughs> for sure right now, but again, um, if people really want to, to, to donate to the hospital, to, to, to enhance it, this is the way that they can make their dollars go to projects, specific projects. What if it's for something that, that the foundation hasn't even thought of? Say, I want to write a check to the foundation for a, um, a second floor 
um, water fountain? Well, we would obviously um, take that into consideration and talk with the board and there would be, you know, a process in place to see what those needs are and how that could be accomplished. So but definitely want to work definitely with Definitely be people. able to yes. have a voice yes. and, and be heard. And, and, and you can have a voice and be heard if you're ever interested in being a board member on the Healthcare Foundation. Any community member is encouraged to contact us and we would love to, to see about having them on the board if we have, that would have be, spaces, yeah. if they have an interest in healthcare. Um, Very good. You know, one thing that because we are a 501c3, it does allow us to be able to apply for federal grants um, that really benefit the community. And one that we've had for years provides pharmacy assistance and chronic disease management for free for, you know, our community. So I didn't, I didn't realize yes. that. So we offer free screenings. We offer um, assistance with signing up for marketplace insurance. And if you have folks that are, you know, in the donut hole, don't have insurance and need help with their prescription medications and are struggling to mm -hmm. choose between eating or, or getting their medication, right. um, we do have someone that works with them to try to get those medications for them for free. So we've saved over the course of, I've been there almost 15 years. We've had this grant throughout that time frame in some form or fashion. We've saved millions of dollars in ah. prescription medication for patients and that, kept them out of the hospital. Yeah, I, I, I'm learning. I, yeah. I, that's one of the reasons why I love doing what I do. I learn so much about my own community and about, about what's offered through our community and that, that is a huge thing to have yes, here in, yes, in our definitely. community. What you do I do with got? this? Okay, so, so I have a, a, a queen and a 10. So she has a queen <laughs> and a 10, y'all. And I have a six showing. So yeah, so see, that's mine. I'm the dealer. She has a queen and a 10, and queen. which, you know. 10. Yeah, that's And almost, I don't even know how to play. <laughs> well, the, the object is to get 21. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. It's so been a long time. So you're, See, I don't, get, you're, don't play these games. You're, you're pretty close. I'm pretty close. So what what would typically happen is you'd say, all right, I'm not going to go any higher. I'm not going any higher. Yeah. And so now the dealer has to turn over, which, you know, that's typically what you expect, you know, with the dealer to have that face card back there. And so the dealer has to take one. So I can still, <laughs> oh, so I got a three. Oh. So that gives me 19. So I have to keep going. And then I busted. You busted. And you won. See, Yay. that's how easy it is. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I've played. It's just been a really long time. All right, so now, <laughs> now what we do. Now we're really gonna play. Now we, no, we, we break out the money Oh my oh. gosh. So you have to learn how to bet at some point. So you have, I have an you ace. have, she has an ace, which is always fun, but then she has this measly two, which is crap. So it's just confusing. <laughs> Why get this really good card here and then you get this crap card. So that's a tough one. and. Yeah, so she either He's has 13 or 3, and, I ha and the dealer has a face card showing. Mm -hmm. So, what would you like to do? Would you, would you want another I card? I think I would want another card. I think another card would be appropriate. Oh, so she got a 10. Look at all these uh -huh. spades. I didn't shuffle very good. So, so now you have... Um, I'm looks back like to 13, You're right? back to 13. You're right back at it. So, you know, what's the odds that another one would be? Uh, let's a, go for it. A, a, let's oh, go for let's it. go. Oh, oh, oh man. And I busted. She busted. <laughs> so there we go. It's just, and then what did the dealer have? The dealer had 15. Look at all those spades. I didn't do a very good job at all shuffling. No, you didn't. But, you know, that's, that's blackjack <laughs> in a nutshell. <laughs> See, you can come out and play yeah. on Saturday night. Yeah. 
So all of y'all that sit here and watch this go down and you're sitting over there at the saying, no, don't do that. I would do this. I would do all that. <laughs> hey, the tickets are, what, $45 a it's person? $45 a person or $80 for a couple. There you go. So, and we'll have food. Um, we'll have fun. And um, you'll definitely walk away having a great evening, but the best part is you're giving back to your community and the health of your community. Yeah, so it, it goes for a good cause. It does. And it's all for fun. There's, you won't really be um, out there gambling your, your money. It's just gonna be kind of like playing, I don't know, Yahtzee at home. Yeah. Except you're playing poker. <laughs> And, and with you, fun and, money. And fun money, and you'll have an opportunity to win some great prizes, too. Yeah. So. Um, while we're waiting on Miss Terry to come in, I, I was, and the power was out, was finding out all sorts of, <laughs> all sorts of stuff, y'all. He did, he uh, did. Yeah, about, about Tori. Look, can you do that? Look, look, I can't do a, that. That's a little fun thing. That whenever, you, whenever you go to engineering school, and, you, you just like, man, I got to do something else besides study. So, you know, you learn how to play spades. So that's spades. what you did. You yeah. learned how to play spades. I learned how to play spades and everything else. I think I but played study. a lot of rook in college. Rook, yeah. yeah. Um, but you, you do something else in your part time. And I'm not going to bring up the one that you think about, that you're talking about. Okay. But you are an avid fundraiser. For St. Jude. I am. I am. I have been um, a St. Jude hero, gosh, probably a good eight, ten years now. And so every year I usually try to run in Memphis uh, and fundraise for that, which I'm currently doing. So if anybody would like to contribute to St. Jude, I'm happy to take your money. There we go. Um, so I'll be running the first Saturday in December. Uh, but I've also been all over the country running for St. Jude, and it's I've been involved with fundraisers and activities for that. So very passionate about St. Jude and and the children there. My uh, my mother actually worked at St. Jude, so I have that personal connection, and she would tell me stories of just how wonderful it was. So just kind of had a little love for that, and lots of lots of kids in in around the area mm -hmm. have had cancer and so they've been to St. Jude and I've seen the impact. It's, it's a magnificent facility. When I worked in Memphis, we, we did a ton of work at the St. Jude campus and, and I got to see firsthand the, uh, what, that, uh, what that organization, that hospital does. And, and it is, and you know, I can tell, I can see in yeah. your eyes how passionate <laughs> you are about it. So I, I wanted to brag on you a well, little thank bit you, thank for, you. for doing all that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's near and dear to my heart too, so. Yeah. Um, we're gonna show the, uh, the info again uh, on, on the tickets. They're uh, $45 per person, $80 per couple, and this is gonna be this Saturday uh, 6 p.m. is when it kicks off at the Lodge at Paris Landing. Uh, it's going to run till 10 o'clock, I guess, and you still have opportunity to get tickets. Can they get yes. tickets at the door? You or? can get tickets at the door, or you are welcome to give me a call at 644-8266. Um, or you can email me at t doherty at you have to spell that I know one. t d a u g h r i t y at hcmc tn org, and we will make sure you get tickets. Uh, additionally, any board member has tickets as well. All right. Yeah. It was a pleasure to meet you. Well, Tori. it was so nice to meet you. Yeah. And thank you for for bringing this to us, and and thank you for having me, and thank you for the fun we've had this evening. <laughs> <laughs> it, I, it was something. It, it was, was definitely something. something. <laughs>